No, it's Sokatoa. Do you know the two kinds of triangle? The two kinds of triangle, the first one is right triangle and the second one is an oblique triangle. Right triangle, a triangle with a right angle. An oblique triangle is any triangle that is not a right triangle. Sokatoa is for right triangle. Right triangle have 90 degrees ang isang side. But what is the sides of the triangle? Kapag ang katapat ng 90 degree, which is the longest side, the hypotenuse. And the two remaining side is the legs. This is the right triangle. There are two types of legs. Maybe the first one is the opposite and the second one is the adjacent. But it depends on the angle we are talking about. This is a right triangle. This is the hypotenuse, the longest side. And these two remaining side is the legs. But what if the triangle is going to be upside down? You guys can be questioning, Nagbabago kaya ang hypotenuse nito? O ang side nito? Nagbabago kaya? Kapag ang triangles ay binabalibaliktad? Of course, not. Hindi ito nababago. Basta katapat ng right angle, automatic na ito ang hypotenuse, which is the longest side. This is the first example. Sabi nga, dito ang right angle, ang katapat niya ay hypotenuse. Okay, balik ta rin natin. This is the right angle, ang katapat niya is the hypotenuse. Okay, balik ta rin ulit natin. This is the right angle, ang katapat niya ay hypotenuse. Okay, balik ta rin ulit natin. This is the right angle. Ang katapat niya ay hypotenuse. At kahit tumamling-tamling pa ang mga triangles, always remember, ang katapat ng right angle ay hypotenuse. Because hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. What about the legs? The adjacent or the opposite? Let's find out. 
Okay, ulitin natin. This is a right angle. Ang katapat niya ay hypotenuse. Okay, dito natin ilagay ang theta. Rule. Kung ano ang katapat ng theta, yun ang tinatawag na which is the opposite. Okay, again. This is the theta. Ang katapat niya ay the opposite. Another example. This is the theta. Ang katapat niya ay the opposite. Okay, another example. Na dito ang theta. Ang katapat niya is opposite. Since alam na natin ang hypotenuse at opposite, ang natitira na lamang ay the adjacent leg. Okay, for example, nandito ang theta, ang katapat niya, the opposite. So, this is the right angle. Ang katapat niya ay hypotenuse. So, ang natitira na lamang ay ang adjacent. Very good! Okay, again, so katawa. Okay, so katawa. O stands for opposite, H stands for hypotenuse, A stands for adjacent, H stands for hypotenuse, O stands for opposite, A stands for adjacent. Okay, mamaya malalaman nyo kung ano stands ng tatlong to. Okay, so katawa. Una muna tayo dito sa so. S stands for sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Equal so. So. And the second one, the ka. Okay, C stands for cosine. Cosine equal adjacent over hypotenuse is equal to ka. Cosine. Of course, the last one, the towa. Okay, this is tangent equal opposite over adjacent is equal to towa. This is the towa. So, ganun lang. Pag namaster mo na to, madali na para sa'yo ang so katowa. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye! Jason Apotnus Cosine Jason Apotnus Tangent Opposite Jason Tangent Opposite Jason Tangent Opposite Jason The long sides of hypotenuse And the other two sides depend On which angle you're focusing on Pick one angle and look There's one side that's the opposite You can clearly see that there's also an adjacent side Oops! Please don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates and for more upcoming videos!